life and I'm here today and I want to learn and we're also going to try to get you in as a, um, a person that we can interview on Tiggs and Louise commentary. Okay. I'm mom um, of these two Tiggs and Louise commentary and Andrea from Mother and Daughter Productions. I thought it was necessary for them to experience learning how to do CPR because they are homeschooled so is they eat all day long somebody could be choking in the classroom while I'm upstairs washing dishes and at least I know those crucial moments they can save each other's life they can be there for each other or save someone else so and for me too because I, I don't want to go in panic mode I want to be able to save my kids life so it's important to me. Okay good. And me, I'm here to learn. Okay, and what's your name? Andy Cruz. All right. Okay. Okay, in a real life situation, what you would do, okay, is go to the person's back of the head. All right, I'm only positioning this because we're putting, you know, we're staging it, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do, you're going to, you see this person laying on the floor, right? So put your hands on your side, and I want you to just go to sleep, okay? All right, so the first thing that you used to are going to do, okay, is check the scene. Look both ways. Check the person, tap them on the shoulder. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? There's no response. Tell someone, you call 911. Look, you call 911. Go call 911. All right. The arm that's closest to you, I want you to pull it up, out, and up so that way it's at the top of the head. The arm's not going to go that way. There you go. Now, put it down at the top of the head like this. There you go. Okay? All right. And put it at the top of the head. All right? And I want to show you something really quickly. Put this arm back down real quick. So if she was on my side, when you're pulling out the arm, you're going to pull out and up. Okay? The arm doesn't go this way. All right? So, out and up. Got it? Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Do what you're doing. So, out and up. Good. And then put it at the top. The foot that's furthest from you, hook it over to the other foot. So the foot that's furthest, hook it over to the other foot. This foot here. This one. Good. And just hook it to the other foot. Yep. Now what you're going to do is cradle the back of the head. So put your hand here. Hand here. And this hand on the hip. Okay? Put this hand here. Okay. Put it back up her neck. And the hip. And the opposite side. Got her hip, right? All right. Now, roll them over. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Now, you're going to open up the airway. Hand on the forehead, two fingers on the chin, and tilt the head all the way back as far as it can go. Hand on the forehead. Good. Put your ear down to the face and listen for 10 seconds. And look like this. Like this, though. Look. This way. And see if she's breathing. There you go. See if she's breathing. She's breathing. And you're going to listen for 10 seconds. So when you listen, you're going to say, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Say it. Go ahead and do it. Count it out loud. One, one. One, Are they breathing? Yeah. Yes, because we want them to breathe too. Okay? So we're going to put them in that recovery position. Remember on the video? All right? The arm that's furthest from you, bring it straight up in the air. The arm that's furthest. Okay? Uh, he just needs to bring so we can leave yours. Leave yours. Go ahead. Yeah. Bring it all the way at the top. Okay? The knee that's furthest from you, 
bend it up. So the knee that's furthest, just bend it so the foot's flat on the floor. Just like the video was doing. Bend it up like this, look. Good. Okay. The arm that's closest to you should be down at the side like this. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to slide your hand to the shoulder. So come up. Okay. Slide your hand to the, no, no, leave the arm where it is. Hand on the shoulder, right here. And go underneath this arm to the hip. Okay, so arm and then the hip on this side. But make sure that this arm, this arm is going to go on top. And then grab her hip. Okay, now push him away from you really gently. Good. Okay, now what you're going to do is say you need to walk away. No, that's good. It's good. Okay, all right. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to play the video and I'm going to pause it in between. Okay, so I can fix what you guys are doing. Knowing how to correctly perform CPR will help you provide care to a person having a cardiac emergency until another trained responder or EMS personnel take over. First, you will learn how to give effective CPR compressions, then we'll add giving rescue breaths. Finally, we will practice some cycles of CPR. This video is designed so you can practice the skill while you watch it. However, your instructor may ask you to practice the skill after watching the video. If so, watch closely. You'll practice soon. Now get ready to practice CPR. Position yourself next to the mannequin with your gloves on and your CPR breathing barrier ready. First, place the heel of one hand in the center of the chest along the breastbone. Then, place the other hand on top and lace your fingers together. And get your barriers on, okay? It says this side out, but don't worry about if it's this side out or anything like that. There's a picture here, if you notice here. See the picture? And mark where my cross is written. So that's the way it goes, okay? All right, now the first thing, thing that you're gonna do is put your hands in the center of the chest, just like they're showing right here, okay? All right, and remember, when you do this, you're gonna hear a click every time. Okay, so that way I know that you have two inch depth, okay? Position your shoulders directly over your hands. Keep your arms as straight as possible and your fingers up and off the chest. Push hard and fast in the middle of the chest, at least two inches deep. Now, give 30 chest compressions. Try to keep an even pace. The compression should be at a rate of at least 100 per minute. Counting out loud can help you. Ready? Go. Compression should be smooth. Let the chest rise completely before pressing down again. Don't take your hands off the chest, just your weight. Okay? Stop. Give another full set of 30 compressions. Remember, keep an even pace. The recommended rate is at least 100 compressions per minute. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And I did Okay, stop. CPR is performed in cycles of 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. To give rescue breaths, use a CPR breathing barrier if available. Tilt the head back and lift the chin up. Then pinch the nose shut and make a complete seal over the mouth. Blow in for about one second. Watch for the chest to rise and fall with each breath. If the chest does not rise, re-tilt the head and try another rescue breath. Your instructor... I'm gonna pause it, okay? All right, so pinch your nose up real tight. 
Tilt the head all the way back with your hand. Place two fingers on your chin, open your mouth wide, and breathe hot air. It's like, okay? And then go straight down. You're doing it. Perfect. Just don't push too hard here, okay? Yeah, do it one more time. Squeeze off real tight. Cut off that mat. Open mouth wide, mouth wide. Ah. Right here. And breathe higher. Like that. Real fast. And relax. Perfect. All right. Let's see. Come here. So that way you can see. Okay? Interlock the hands. Right? Okay. Right here. 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 Right Tilt the head back. Right back on. One and two and three and four and five and six. That's it. Okay? So you understand what we're doing now? Right. So you're getting your two breaths in each time. Guys, I'm just letting you know. I don't do this every day. Okay? I don't have muscles. There's nothing here. There's just skin and bones. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay? okay. All right? muscles. There's no response. Tell someone. Now they came. Hey, go tell, go call 911. And? And get the defibrillator. Okay, so go ahead and go back. Go get the defibrillator. You gotta go get it. Alright, listen for 10 seconds. Remember, jump ahead all the way back. There you go. Okay, alright, so they're not breathing. Start CPR. <laughs> Stop. 
that's fine. Yep, okay. if they show an obvious sign of life. So okay. if they yep. sit up, if they breathe, if they, some people curse at you, some people, you know, <laughs> it depends on their personality. Some people okay. swing and hurt yeah. all the people around them. Exactly. Wow. Love this. <laughs> Why'd you do that to me? I want to use that in your group. So put your hands up like that. All right, Ty, you go first. Because I'm smaller. Okay, so do you want to do you want to choke or do you want to be the responder? So, if they're coughing, encourage them. Keep coughing, keep coughing, keep coughing. All right. All right. Now there's silence. There's no breathing. There's no talking. That means they're actually choking. So ask them, "Can I help you?" I'm certified. So nod your head, yes. <laughs> All right, you're going to stand to the side of them. When you stand to the side of them, place your foot next to their foot like this. I'm knocked out. No, you're conscious. <laughs> like that. I'm so not like this. The inside foot. Oh. Okay? All right, so now place your hand across the shoulder like this. So that hand across the shoulder. It's going to go like, oh, like that. Okay? And bend them forward. I'm joking myself. All right, so now let me, let me fix you so that way I can. All right, so this is tiny. All right, we're going to pretend he's an adult, all right? So bend him forward. No, I'm pretending he's an adult. So bend forward, okay? Find the shoulder blades directly in the center of the shoulder blades. Place your hands, palms up like this, okay? And pretend to do five times. Don't make any noise, don't make any noise. Okay, so it doesn't work. Stand them up. Go behind them. Put one foot between their feet, okay? And find their belly buttons. Okay. You see how you're fishing and looking for it? Go find the top of the hips. Go right around I'm the belly button, place right in the center. Okay. Fist your hand like this. Like this. Like this. No, no. Go behind her. Go behind her. Okay. Turn that hand. Now put your belly button right here, right? And then what you would normally do is like that. Fist this hand. This hand you want? Okay. Spin, spin, spin. This way. Right down the hand goes over like that. And then you would pretend by doing that. Okay? Do not make him throw up. Okay? Right, Do not make him throw up. Don't make me throw up at all. Stand up. Remember, I still know how to do cry. Alright, so you can let go. Alright. If it doesn't work, you go back to the back blows, abdominal thrust, back blows, abdominal thrust, back blows, until the object comes out or until they become unconscious. Okay? Alright, let's switch places. To the side of them, place your foot like that. Okay, and give me this arm and put it up on the shoulder like that and bend him down to your level. Okay, now grab this hand, place it right here, right between the shoulder blades, palms up. Just like we did CPR, remember? Using the palm. This is okay. hard. Go down a little. You gotta bend down. Huh? Okay, it's like that. All right, now. You want to this is perfect. And then somebody else. Like All right, now. Pretend to do it five times. One, two, pretend. Good. Now stand them up. Okay. Get up. Go behind them. Put one foot between their feet. Okay. Now find their belly buttons. Okay. There you go. All right. You can let go. Not really good. All right. All right. So when you're doing this, okay, you're gonna make sure that you do five back blows. Doesn't work, five abdominal thrusts. Doesn't work, five back blows. Doesn't work, five abdominal thrusts. Doesn't work, five back blows. You get the point? Make sure you're going okay. back and forth. Don't yep. just do so one thing. So it's going like this, straight down. Then you're coming up, stand them up, and around. Then you come back, okay? And you just okay. keep going until okay. the object comes out or until they become unconscious, okay? okay? And you're always going to do so you how many? Until they become unconscious? No, until the object comes oh, out. Okay. <laughs> what our goal is. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to wrap each other, okay? First things first, remember to obtain consent, okay? Can I help you, all right? This piece of gauze... I'm going to wrap your fingers. This piece of gauze is going to go on first. Okay. So you have the arm, this will go on first, okay? Then you put pressure on it like this. I'm just showing you how to do it, okay? Not this way. Okay? And then what you're going to do is get that bandage roller, and you're going to wrap it. Furthest from the heart up, and you just keep using the entire roll. Okay? You grab me. Uh oh, you're trying to go right. I'm going to go right. Why are you going to wrap it on her? Because she got to have a partner. Yeah.
to talk so much, I wouldn't put that on nobody. So I'm just getting it on myself. Put it on you. He must be your partner. Oh man, I wouldn't even do that to you. I, I got you. My husband don't even take that. <laughs> Too late. Wait a minute. Why you touch your stuff all my wrist all crazy? He was putting it on his skin. Remember? Oh, he was looking it up. Okay. Let's have okay. A and I'll show you how to tie. She doesn't know that I bandage you up at home all the time. So, yeah. I have to show her I know what I'm doing. Well, if you don't know what you're doing. Then that's why I can tell you I ain't, that's why I'm not ENT. Wow. <laughs> Either way, it works for me. This stinks. I feel like a, I feel like a wrestler.
mobilize, okay? We're going to mobilize the, the body part. So if you look on page 125, that's one of the ways we immobilize. Oh, it's there. Okay? Cold, ice packs on, right? Mm -hmm. And then elevator. All right? So now we're going to talk about his head, neck, and, and spinal injuries, okay? So when should you suspect a head, neck, or spinal injury? Page 126. Wait, you can give me an example. Just give me an example. Somebody falls, like a greater than their height, right? Yeah, yeah. down the steps. Okay, what about sports? Yes. Yeah, yeah right? What else? Well, we did that day. Now what we move on to? This is injuries to muscles. Injuries, you're right here. Hey, look at the page. Stop moving. I can't move. Stop. So, we're going to look for, it can be only a small fracture. Um, that can cause an un, um, so I'll read the, the statement that it says. Although heads, neck, and spinal injuries are only a small fraction of all injuries, these injuries may cause unintentional death or permanent neurological damage. Okay? If you suspect that a person has a head, neck, or spinal injury, tell them to, uh, him or her to respond verbally to ask questions. Instead of saying, not in their head like this because they have a head, neck, or spinal injury. You want them to just talk from their mouth, okay? Um, and to ask any questions and avoid nodding, okay, or shaking. Um, suspect that the head is positioned in the position you find it. If the head is turned sharply to one side, do not move it to your liking. For instance, if my head is tilted this way, okay, I don't want you to go like this because you like it this way, okay? You're going to mobilize it in the area that it's in like this. Okay? She went into the back. She probably had to take a phone call. But, but okay. our most parents' reactions, especially like mothers, would be like, are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> that's one thing you don't want to do. <laughs> okay? So if the person, um, if a person with a suspected head, neck, or spinal injury is wearing a helmet, do you think we should take it off? No. no. Do not remove it. Or any attached face mask, face shields, anything like that. Okay, unless it's necessary to access um, and assess the person's airway and, you sh and you're specifically trained to do so. We're not specifically trained, so do not take it off. Okay? okay. All right. So we're going to look at this dazed and confused. And I want you to look at this picture, um, that sheet that I gave you. Oh. Image one. What are the signals of an injury here? Look at that image. What's going on here? Oh. You do number one. She looks confused. Yeah, so confused. What else? She she what about her vision? My vision is there. Yeah, um, <laughs> so impaired vision. Okay. And, <laughs> and how do you think she got it? By being starts with a C. You know when you always fall, somebody Concussion. says you automatically are cool. clumsy. Clumsy, right? <laughs> All right. So how about image one, what may have happened? He fell and busted her head open. Exactly. The person hit her head when playing on the equipment. Good job. What kind of injury could this be? Uh, Daya. Just a laceration. It's a small laceration. Or, or what does it affect, though? Her her, her head to okay, right? the so, so the kind of injury it could be is a head, neck, or spinal injury, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so look at image two now. Two what minutes. do you see is happening in this video, in this um, image? Someone's trying to help her. Somebody's trying to help her? So the responder's caring for the person. What else? It looks like she's asking her questions to see like, her she? level. Okay, so the responder's helping ensure the person does not move, right? Oh, mobilize. And then the last one is, who is she waiting on? Paramedics. Yeah, so advanced medical personnel. How about image two, the second question? The first one. Why is the responder positioned the way she is? Why is she looking at her like that? <laughs>